If you're still using a deep cycle marine battery for your trolling motor, well, you're missing out on a huge opportunity because lithium batteries are now affordable and I want to show you a couple more things that they can be used for beyond just that trolling motor. And those applications will help you convince your wife to let you buy one. I bought my first lithium battery several years ago and it was really painful in terms of the price. Well, Golden Mate has now come out with what I think is a really affordable battery. This 100 amp lithium battery only costs $399. And that's only half the price of what I paid a couple years ago. And when I looked up deep cycle marine batteries, I saw that, you know, they get pretty pricey too if you get a good one. And here's the problem with a deep cycle marine battery. The, there is something called depth of discharge. So if you buy a 100 amp hour deep cycle battery, you'll be lucky to get 50 amp hours of use out of it because as it draws down, it becomes less capable. Lithium batteries don't have that problem and you've already confirmed this with some of your power tools that have a lithium battery in them that you've been using for years because they can recharge for thousands of cycles and a deep cycle marine battery will not. So think back to what your dad used to tell you. Buy the best stuff you can afford and it'll last a lifetime. Well, if you buy a deep cycle marine battery, you're probably gonna replace it a couple times before this 100 amp hour Golden Mate battery would even think about wearing out. So why not make that investment now while the price is cheap? And let me show you a few more applications you can use for this that are really handy that will justify the reasonable cost in today's market. Well, there are just a few things I need to touch on here before we get into the applications. And that is with all the publication and publicity around lithium batteries going haywire, you need to buy a lithium battery that has the appropriate certifications. And the Golden Mate that I'm going to use to show you today is underwriters approved as well as a number of other certifications as you can see right here. The other thing is you need to verify that that lithium battery has an internal BMS, a battery management system, to make sure that everything is okay. And the Golden Mate BMS protects against the common problems of overcharging, undercharging, things like that, that would reduce the lifespan of the battery. But anyway, I'm not going to show this on a trolling motor because we know how that works. So here is the first additional application that you may want to think about. Here's the first scenario, and I'll get to the critical one that your spouse will appreciate next. You're out camping or in the woods, you've got your trolling motor with you, and you've got your e-bike. Well, you can see that my e-bike is charging easily off this 100 amp hour battery, and I've got my fan here going to keep myself cool as well. And depending on how many hookups you have in your inverter, you could run lights and other things. This one has a couple USB ports, so I could even charge my phone. There's your first application beyond trolling motor. Now, let's go to the critical one. I live in Wilmington, North Carolina, and we get hurricanes down here all the time. And unless it's a real big one, like Florence was a couple years ago, power can go out for, you know, four to five hours. So the key thing that I wanted to protect against was my fridge dying. So I got one of these EcoFlow River Pro to be able to hook my fridge up to, run some fans, lights, things like that. Well, this thing costs 649 bucks versus the 399 it would cost for a 100 amp hour Golden Mate battery. And this doesn't even have half the capacity of that lithium battery. So why would you buy one of these when you can just get a trolling motor battery, or I guess this would just be a generic lithium battery, for so much less? Now, the only advantage of this is it's got more plugs and things like that, but how many plugs and things like that are you gonna need? So 
let's take this battery inside. I'm going to hook it up to my fridge and we'll see if it runs the fridge. And that is the key test. And here's the third and probably the critical application for this 100 amp battery beyond going fishing and using it for your trolling motor. You can use it in the case of a power outage as long as you have an inverter that is strong enough to deal with the wattage on your fridge. Uh, this inverter is 500 watts. I see that the same one's going for 700 watts for about $60. So that's a good value. So let me unplug the fridge, plug it in, and we'll see if it works. It's pulling out 319 amps. And my refrigerator app says that it's on. Right now it's only drawing 25 amps because it's not going through a cooling cycle. But I can turn on the ice plus. And it does, it's still working. So the bottom line here is that your refrigerator only puts a demand on it when it needs to kick in the fan to cool everything down. So this is certainly good enough to keep the refrigerator cool for the couple of hours it may take for the power back to come back on. I'm opening the doors to get the cold air out to force the fan to kick in to confirm that my inverter will handle the load. You can hear the refrigerator beeping. It's mad at me. After I shut the door, it spiked up to about 68 watts. So to me, I think this thing is going to work fine to keep this fridge running. I'm going to leave it hooked up for half an hour or so just to see what happens. Hold and steady. So there you go. There's three applications for this battery. And again, they're bargain price right now. The price has come down by a half over the last couple of years. You've got your trolling motor, which of course is what we like as a fisher, fishing people. But you can also take it camping, charge an e-bike, run a fan. And you know, I can run a, a light. I can run a fan off this at the same time as I'm keeping my refrigerator going. But that last application of comfort during a power outage is huge because 100 amps, 100 amp hour is big enough to handle the problem. Comments? Questions? Throw it down below. Thanks.